see those meteors swarm on out here in the east, the east zone, the heat zone, and the lakeside area. And today I'm going to discuss, this is going to be a two-part uh, um, video. I'm going to, first part is going to, I'm going to be discussing how to get apartments in the city of Ahihik and the surrounding area. And then uh, the second video I'm going to put up, it'll be just Chapala, just the city of Chapala and that area outside of Chapala. And um, that I have a little bit of experience with from helping people. Uh, I've never lived in Chapala, but it is a nice place to live. Um, and I also want to say I don't work for a real estate company and uh, I just do things as I learn and I pass on information to be helpful. Um, I do recommend, though, going to realtors, and there's a lot of good realtors that can help you find an apartment once you get here or before you get here. Uh, you know, just call realtors, talk to friends. They can tell you, refer you to realtors, or you can just uh, get online, call realtors, get their phone numbers, and they can maybe help you out. And it's a wonderful thing. I used a realtor in San Miguel de Allende my first snowbird season, and they were wonderful. Uh, they hooked me up with a great place, and uh, San Miguel Realty uh, in San Miguel de Allende, in a pretty good neighborhood, too, really well-desired neighborhood. Okay, um, much-desired neighborhood. Um, but what I want to talk about, too, is there's a lot of ways you one can get an apartment and uh, here, and, and I'm going to get to the word-of-mouth thing, and that's one of the areas that I'm going to go into, but I'm also going to mention, a lot of you might know this, but please stick with this video because what I'm going to tell you about word of mouth might help you. Okay, great ways to get real estate uh, places, companies, uh, businesses will help you out quite a bit. Uh, also, uh, when you come down here, if you decide to get an Airbnb, that's what I did. My first snow, not my first snowbird season in Mexico, but my first snowbird season in here in Ahihi. That's when I came and I got an Airbnb. Um, when I first got, well, sight unseen, I got it through the internet and it was really reasonable. Uh, that was on Constitution. Um, it, near Almeida, or yeah, right there, right not too far from um, around the corner from La Bodega. It was a primarily Mexican neighborhood, but I really loved the place. And the landlord was cool, uh, everything like that. But it was a little small, and I decided I wanted something bigger. So now I'm talking two years ago. Now I'm going to also mention, before I get into that, prices have gone up in here in the last couple of years. But what I'm about to tell you about two years ago could help you out. And that's why I'm going to get into the how to find places word of mouth or walking around looking for realty signs. Sometimes the companies will have something you see a rental, call it up. Uh, if you happen to be walking, driving by, passing by, call that place up and you'll get the realtor's number uh, or whoever's renting it out. Sometimes it'll be a private uh, owner and uh, they'll be running it out, excuse me. Um, anyways, yeah, I think I got a hair or something. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna tell you how word of mouth, how I found out. And it, it, you can still use this method today. I still use this method today. And that's how I even got here into this apartment was through word of mouth. First, where I might learn about, did something word of mouth was, I was going up, I got a lead, uh, somewhere, I can't remember how or where, I was going up in Javier Mina near the Carretera Highway, and I went up, this was uh, two years ago, a little more than two years ago, um, and uh, I went up there, I turned, I had to turn, let's say, a right, and then go up another block or two, and uh, there was a all Mexican neighborhood, a wonderful neighborhood. And this lead I got, I had to turn down this one street and I got there and someone was already there. I was late and uh, someone was looking at the lease and uh, 
and but I still managed to look around. They let me look around anyway, and um, by the time I got looking around, that lady had signed a lease. She probably was going to sign a lease before, maybe, maybe not. You know, one guy said he probably saw you walking around there, and that's why she signed the lease. She should have stayed and waited until she got out because she might not have signed the lease. But, uh, but who knows? You know, but who knows? She might have wanted to. See, to get that place anyway. But in any case, uh, I, I walked out, I was disappointed. You know, it was a two bedroom, two bath, pretty spacious place. And uh, I was walking, I got out of there and I walked around the corner and there was a, an apartment comp like building that they separated to make apartments into. Uh, it was a uh, renovation. And uh, I, I didn't think that would be available for probably a month or two or something. So I asked a construction worker, he was out there, one of the construction workers, and I said, hey, I'm looking for a renta. Uh, she goes, I, and you know of a place, uh, Sedenta. And he, he said, yeah, you know, come on. He didn't even speak English, but he walked me down, back around the corner, down the hill, and almost to the Carretera Highway, right there in Centro on Javier Mina. He showed me this place. He says, go knock on this door and talk to someone there. And I did. And I got shown this apartment for $4.50 a month. All utilities included and cable. Had a patio outdoors. Um, it was like, you know, I don't want to say it's a gated community, like a compound. And uh, anyways, large bedrooms, large bath. Um, two and a, it was one and a half bath and, and large kitchen, beautiful there for only four fifty a month plus the housekeeper, and he had a patio out there too. Uh, but there was some construction being done in there. The lady was building. Uh, um, the lady, the owner, she was putting in a couple new casitas there. Let's see, it was one, two. There were three, and she was building, or there was four, and I think she was building two more. And so, uh, anyway, um, I stayed there, and I got that one was through word of mouth and uh, uh, through just asking questions. I saw a construction worker. He took me down, and that's how I got that place. And then uh, one of the studios, uh, a good friend of mine, he lives here in San Antonio, he had a buddy coming up from Halifax, an older guy, and uh, he was up in age, and uh, he comes here as a snowbird, and then he needed a place. So he asked me, he says, are there any places available where you're living? And I said, yeah, there's a studio for 300. And it's a big studio because I saw it. I was in there. And uh, it's a great place. And he says, okay. So he called. So this is another word of mouth, how to get apartments. You know, knowing someone and networking, going out, searching, if you're capable of walking around and looking for realty signs on some of these apartments, you'll see different realty signs. If you haven't been to the realty company first uh, or anything like that, but contact the realty companies um, and, uh, you know, go from there. But uh, I was pretty lucky. Uh, I found that place. And then um, when I came back here to IHEHE, I give viewers these, I did a walkthrough, you know, and I like when people, YouTubers, to walk you through their homes and their apartments that they rent because you get an idea of what they're renting, you know. And so I, I did a walkthrough of this place, which I got word of mouth. Um, um, I did a walkthrough, some walkthrough videos when I first got here. I probably in late September sometimes, so go back, backlog. And, and I've been buddies you guys in through video. Uh, but... Uh, Anyway, um, this place I got here is word of mouth. Um, I went back up to the States after my second snowbird season and my, my first one here, but I met a woman and she was coming back to Mexico. I, I stayed up there for the pandemic. She happened to be down here at one point and we kept in contact and uh, we texted a lot. We spoke on the phone at times. Uh, um, and she told me about this place where I'm at. And she says, really the quiet place, nice place. It's got a big pool, nice and decent sized pool. And it's a pretty cool place. And uh, that's how I got this place. But 
I could probably should have came here. I would have saved myself a lot of money. Uh, but this is in La Floresta, and I wanted to be closer to Central. So and around when September 1st, when I got here, I wound up getting hotels, um, wherever they had openings and schedules and things like that. And I stayed in hotels for uh, about 10 days until I finally said, hey, I can't find anything in Central that matches me. You can get, now I want to tell you, you, you can get less expensive rentals if you go out a little bit into West High, he, he, beyond that, or you go toward you know, Chapala. But then again, you're going to get some expensive places there too. Or you're going to get some pretty good, you know, places. It depends on what you want to spend or what's in your budget. And, uh, but I, I wanted to be in Central. And when I found out, I was in a hotel for 10 days. I gave up on Central because for some reason, I couldn't find anything. Maybe I'm over too selective or whatever. Um, but I just gave in and said, hey, I'm tired of being in these hotels and running around looking for places and talking to realtors, which showed me some good places. But they didn't quite... Uh, fit me or maybe I'm too selective or something like that so but there were some good places they did show me some good places but I finally decided okay I'm going to utilize this word of mouth lead through a person a friend of mine uh, that I made friends with a couple of years ago in here and that's why I came in here and uh, I did a walkthrough video and I really believe in in as a YouTuber taking you walking you through the place that I rent and I did that um, I think in September sometime, I think I mentioned that. And this place is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, two full baths. Well, they don't have bathtubs, but they both have showers, sinks, and toilets. And they're pretty roomy. The bedrooms are pretty roomy. Uh, the living room is kind of a little bit small, but it's really cool. It's couches here, and, and then I have a dining room table here, and then I got a kitchen here, smaller kitchen area, but it's functional. And uh, then again, I eat out 70 times a month, you know. <laughs> so uh, believe it or not, I mean, I am. You can probably tell I eat out a lot. Cause, but uh, I eat out 70 times a month, and uh, I don't spend much time in the kitchen. And it's not because I can't cook. I can cook. I just like being out there a lot, too. Yeah. But um, I took this place, and I'm really happy with it. It's got a nice pool here. And, and I'm telling you, it's word of mouth. And I'm in a pretty good location here in a lot for us in the neighborhood. So it's got three TVs in here, too. Just check out the videos I posted, and you'll see. And uh, I was really happy to invite you guys into my home or my casita or my apartment. You know, uh, not only outside, but the inside, too, and the grounds here. Uh, so I want to say that I don't work for a realtor. I don't um, know anything about buying homes in Mexico. Um, I own a home up in the U.S., in the Midwest. I can tell you how to buy homes up there, but I couldn't tell you how to buy homes here. Um, so I also want to mention other ways I found one can... Uh, get apartments and that's on boards. Uh, yeah, a lot of people come down here and when they get down here, they like to go to Lake Chapala Society. And I think that's a great idea. When you first get down here, you land, try to get into the Lake Chapala Society and see what they have going on there on their boards. Uh, it's uh, You don't have to become a member. It's for members and non-members that they can go and look on that board and find out if there's rental properties. And there might even be homes for sale up there, too. Um, but I check out the rental properties um, when I was there and I was coming in. And then also there's a board at the American Legion over in Chapala for those who want to go out that area. Um, you'll find a lot of good stuff there. And then um, you're also going to find um, places like the Super Lake, the board outside the Super Lake Market. You're going to have a lot of listings there, and that's in San Antonio. Then if you're in Ahik, um, Ahik, you're going to find that um, you're going to be able to go to El Torito. There's a board there, you know. So rents have gone up um, in Ahik. That's to be expected, And uh, but you can still get some decent rentals if you look around, and maybe you'll get the right fit. Um, 
you know, um, me, I pay, I don't know if I mentioned, I pay six fifty a month. And I, like I said, I, with all the, everything I got, oh, I pay for a housekeeper. That's not a lot. But, uh, uh, and the water, and I think I pay about $6 a month in water. It costs me, so that would be, uh, well, it was six twelve, and then I pay I, my housekeeper. Well, I pay her a little extra sometimes, you know. I even pay her uh, double time on the holiday, which came on. I think it fixed in. It worked at Christmas Eve, and I forgot to tell. I was going to tell her not to come. It's Christmas Eve, but she didn't mind. She was going to do one of the other apartments, but I gave her double time, you know. I just said, but uh, anyway, I, uh, so my expenses here, and, you know, I probably I'm gonna add everything up. Probably seven fifteen, seven twenty a month, and uh, I really enjoy it here. And I'm in La Floresta. It's a pretty good neighborhood. And you know, do I like sometimes? I miss being or being around Central. I'm being in Central, sure. But right now, there's not anything that's available, and um, I will have to maybe uh, I probably intend coming back here for my next Albert season. So. In any case, um, I hope to give have given you some information about how to get rentals in Ahihi, where to look for them, and how to find them, and use your realtors. Um, your realtors will have a lot of information, and they'll have places for you. Uh, so with that, I'm going to close this video. Um, I'm not sure if I told you guys. I was, yeah, I did tell you that. So anyway, um, I'm going to close this video. And I want to say, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to this channel, please. Um, and um, comments or questions, please put them up there. And I'll do my best to get back with you as soon as possible. I want to say thanks. Hasta luego. Uh, buenos dias. Uh, have a great day. And uh Please watch the next video part two because that will be, I'll be talking about how to get night, some rentals in the city of Chapala and beyond a little bit and uh, how I helped some guys. Um, um, I helped, well, two guys, uh, one guy coming back to Chapala area and I helped them get apartments here uh, or, or rather over in the city of Chapala. So, um, please uh, watch that video. That's probably going to be a quicker video. So with that, everything said, have a great day. Thanks for viewing.